Right now, the American dream has turned into a nightmare for so many families. The true unvarnished state of our union begins and ends with this. Our families are hurting. Our country can do better. And you don't have to look any further than the crisis at our southern border to see it. President Biden inherited the most secure border of all time. But minutes after taking office, he suspended all deportations, he halted construction of the border wall, and he announced a plan to give amnesty to millions. We know that President Biden didn't just create this border crisis, he invited it with 94 executive actions in his first 100 days. In attributing the border crisis to Joe Biden's actions and decisions, we scrutinize the president's accountability for policy changes, such as the moratorium on deportation, a pause in border wall construction, and a proposal for amnesty. Sennard Katie Britt's portrayal of the American dream, transforming into a nightmare for countless families, draws a direct connection to the southern border crisis. This can be viewed as an effort to intertwine policy decisions with tangible repercussions for individuals and families. Underscoring the human impact of political choices. The narrative places a spotlight on the interest in individual experiences and the authenticity of the portrayal of the American dream's nightmarish transformation. The accentuation of the family's plight reflects a fundamental concern for individual welfare, aligning with democratic values. Additionally, referencing the multitude of administrative actions within the first 100 days of Joe Biden's presidency could be interpreted as a critique of perceived excessive use of administrative power, contributing to the described border crisis.